What is going on YouTube? Today I'm here with Tyler and we are going to be servicing and maintenancing these boards. The Backfire Zealot S and we have Tyler's Fast and Furious board. After every season or before every season of riding, it's very important that you service, you maintenance, and you go over your board before getting back into the season. Bolts can seize, you can lose speed, um, grime and dirt will get in there, you can rot out your bolts. It's just always good you get in there, you tighten things, you take things apart, you see what's gotten in there, um, you lube your belts or you lube your wheels. Or Tyler's board was serviced last year, but it was really basic. We just, all we did was lube the, the front wheels a little bit. We're gonna give you guys a rundown on how to make sure your board is riding to its fullest potential throughout the whole season. And also we're gonna install some shredder trucks on Tyler's boards. Um, hopefully he sees the difference with those. To give you guys a rundown on the tools we have, we have a lug set, we have a bolt set for a drill, we have belt dressing, WD-40, we have some car detailing stuff, drill, lug, a couple skate tools, a bucket with some Dawn dish soap which we'll be pouring hot water into. So the first step of the maintenance process. So as you can see, we got the right wheel off already. So when you're taking the wheels off, you're gonna take this bolt off and screw this bolt with a skate tool. It's kinda like that blue piece Tyler's holding. You're gonna screw that, loosen it up, break it. They should come off fairly easy, but be careful because when you get it off, there's gonna be a washer behind it. That little thin washer, you don't wanna lose that. It's the same color as my patio too, so that would be terrible. Pull the wheel off, and then right here, actually, no, look at that. It's, it's hiding, yeah, it's stuck to it. There's one behind there, so be careful. Don't forget, I just forgot, but luckily it was so dirty that it just stuck right to it. Do the same thing with the other side. After you get done with that, you're gonna break this bolt right here. Try to show them how it's done. You're gonna screw that bolt. And we're taking off the truck now. Everyone's washing. So we're taking, we're disassembling the truck now. We're gonna get down in the bushing. Oh, dude. <laughs> So you get that nut off and then that cap should come off right behind it. We're gonna set that aside, don't lose it. And then there's a bushing in here. Ugh, you can see how dirty this one is. Oh, look at it. Look at that. Looks like it rolled it around in, in a... Ugh, it's terrible. That's why, we, that's why we service our boards. You can see down there. I mean, look at that. Look at the grime and the dirt. I mean, look at this. I mean, look at my hands. I mean, if I just grab one of these washers, I mean, just look at the, look at that. I mean, it's just dirty. I mean, your wheel, you know, is in there. I mean, this is, you basically, you're gonna pull up on this in a forward motion, shake it out, it should come right off, and you just look at that. It's just dirty. So then you're gonna take this other bushing out right below it. This one's not as bad, but it's still dirty. Then you can pull that bolt out. You're gonna get the cap, bottom piece cap. We're gonna be swapping the trucks out. We're gonna be putting on a shredder truck on his board, so a nice upgrade. So took the little nuts off of here. So there's four little nuts. These ones right here. I took those off already. You gotta pivot it a little bit. I might have to push down the back ones again to pull from the front, take it off of like an even, even angle. There it is. There it is. Have that all disassembled. We have all of our pieces here, bare bones of the board. So here we have our boiling water. It's not boiling, it's just hot water from a faucet. Dawn dish soap. Pieces. We're gonna put all the pieces that we just disassembled from there in here. We're gonna stir this hot water with that dish soap, with the truck. And you guys will just see how dirty this comes out. Didn't disassemble my board right now because you don't want to get these parts mixed up. I think disassembled straightforward. You need one tool to do that. Hot water, Dawn just soap, right in the bucket. Now we're gonna let it work its magic, leave it in there for about 15 minutes. I don't know if you guys can see this, but we've been letting this sit in here for 20 minutes. Bunch of dirt sitting on the top. 
We were stirring it up. You can see all the dirt sitting on the sides. A bunch of dirt and debris sitting on the bottom. It's a new board. I mean, he has under 50 miles on this board. I mean, this is crazy. I mean, a lot of shit in there. So now we're gonna take the things out of here. I'm gonna hand them to Tyler. We're gonna set them on that paper towel. So they're gonna see one by one. As you can see, the water's still hot. There's smoke coming off my hands. <laughs> things are just smoking like we're taking them out of a furnace. Yeah. You can see it, dude. It's crazy. It's hot out. I mean, don't think it's not hot. I mean, it's the middle of summer. It's like 80 degrees. Out. It's not like it's cold and we have hot water out in the cold. I mean, yeah, this shit it. is hot. Yeah. Ugh, dirty water. Yeah, there, go, there goes all the washers. Put these right here. What we're gonna do next, we have everything out of the bucket. Everything's right here on this paper towel. We're gonna get, we have another paper towel. We're gonna wipe everything off. We're using paper towels so that we can show you guys that even though we did that, they're still dirty. We look at that dirt coming off of just that nut in that washer. Go through everything on here with the paper towel, wipe everything off thoroughly. Another quick side note we're doing, I took off one of Tyler's spacers for some more ground clearance. Same thing on the rear. I just wanted to add that in just for a better riding experience. But simple, all you do is while the truck's off, you just slide them both off and you can peel them apart and then you slide the first one back in. These are doubled up, but then on top of the truck, you almost get like three layers of spacers. That's too much for me. Definitely recommend it. The front truck is on, wheels are assembled. If you spin them, you can see that, you can see that spin, that non-stop spin. No friction, no rubbing. The trick is when you're tightening these wheels, you gotta remember there's a sweet spot. A little bit to the, you gotta move it to the right to the left. You gotta check those bearings. You should just move just a little bit. So once you get everything assembled, you can, I have, gel spray and stay lubricant shoot it in the front i shoot it in the back and i spin the wheels while i'm shooting it in and then i get it in there in the bushings i get it down there in the middle prevents it from seizing always keeps things moving freely now if you get a little bit on your board you can wipe it up that front truck is fully assembled fully serviced fully maintenanced and it's ready just to, it's ready to rip it up